Good morning everybody, Orange Jay here with another War of the Visions video, and today we are doing our Garval unit review. I'm going to talk about the team comps that I've been using Garval in, I'm going to talk about like his skills, what I think makes him really good, because this guy is really good, and just show him off a little bit. Show you like what you might be looking forward to if you're building him right now, or what you might be missing if you decided not to pull him. So let's start though by talking about the current team that I've liked to use him in. I'm going to put that on the screen. That team has been Garvel, Ildira, Dwayne. I really like the synergy between Dwayne and Garvel because they both have that Dark Master ability, so they're buffing each other. I really like giving more HP to my like Dark High Damage Bruisers, which is kind of what I've always considered Dwayne. In this group, I wouldn't call Dwayne my tank because he only really has two turns of hate and has no way of generating any more. However, I do want Dwayne taking the first couple hits because, you know, he might as well because he's the tankiest person in the group. But Garvel has access to that shield he can put on himself that makes him pretty dang tanky against physical teams as well. Ildir is here to just keep these boys healthy. Like, that's her job. She looks like a teacher, but she's here to teach people how not to kill themselves. All right, real quick. Here's Garvel's stats in this group. I like to run him as a red mage. He's got pretty good HP at 45, 27. That's about what you want from a bruiser. He's got that nice agility. The move three jump one is a little low, but look at his magic stat. In this group, I have nothing on him that is buffing that magic stat. There's no like Ramu, there's not even an MR magic card, and he's at 999. That's pretty great. Diablos is what's boosting his uh, damage as far as vision cards go. And uh, yeah, to be able to get that to 999 with no um, magic stat boosting vision card is really impressive. And it's one of the reasons why he does so much damage. Another reason he does so much damage, which by the way, that's going to be a theme in this video, is another reason Garvel does so much damage, is Hyper Vitality. Now check this out. Hyper Vitality for the first five turns of combat gives Garvel 30% agility, 60% more magic, and 60% more dex. That means he's going to be faster, he's going to hit harder, and he might crit. Well, he'll probably crit with all that, with all that dexterity. Really cool and character defining. Right? Like, you want this dude getting in there and just beating people down in the first five turns. That buff is too good not to run, in my opinion. Now, the rest of these are very situational, right? If you know you're going against mages, you can run Mages Protection, but I don't recommend Garvel into mages. I've been using his Magic Up 30% support ability, which, you know, that's why it's up there around 1,000. And then he also has um, Light Spirit Blessing, which will give him some Light Resist if you want to go that route. But I like to buff his Magic and run Hyper Vitality, and this dude's a truck when he has those things. Okay, how else do I want to help this guy one-shot stuff? Well, I'm actually having him use his own TMR. Rarely do I have units equip their very own TMR, but with Garvel, I think it's a good idea. Um, look at the buff on the far right there, Fury Surge. Raises own magic and magic attack resistance penetration for three turns. Now I put the numbers on the screen. That's 40% magic up and 50 magic penetration up. That's phenomenal. So again, it's leaning into that theme of for the first few turns in combat, this guy's going to hit people hard enough to kill him. And that's what you need. You don't want to fight prolonging with Garvel. Once he gets to like turn six, he's obviously going to be significantly weaker than he was on turn one or two. And turn one counts. Turn one is minus one on this buff. So keep that in mind. Um, let's look real quick before we go into some fights. I promise you the fights are coming. Let's look at his moves that he likes to use the most and the moves I've been relying on to carry me through combat. So on the bottom of the screen, you see Detonation Blast. This is a core move for him. Like Elsie, it hits in that cross-shaped AoE. Um, that just seems to be a theme with new units. Now, this is a guaranteed hit, medium damage, magic attack. That's really cool. You guys, that's a, that's a sure hit AoE magic attack that's dark. That's amazing. This move's really great. It kills a lot of people all the time, and it even has a range height of one, so he doesn't have to be level with them to use it. Okay, he also has access to Jamming Thrust through his Red Mage job. That's a really long range, long range, single target, large damage ability. Awesome. He has Chi Barrier, which is that physical shield, 50% damage reduction for three turns. 
cool. And he has Twin Chi Rupture. This is extra large damage. Now, he has to be very close, but it hits the two squares in front of him for extra large magic damage. You can see I've really leaned into his magic-based attacks, and to me, they've been the most powerful. I haven't had luck with his missile-based magic attacks, and maybe that's because there's just a ton of missile resists in the meta right now because of this map. I don't know, but he loves to use those moves for me more than his others. Okay, let's go to some fights. Let's show him off and talk a little bit more about him as we watch him do some cool stuff. All right, so for fight one, this is that comp we just showed off in the last uh, in the last section. It's Dwayne, it's Ildira, and it's Garvel. So Garvel and Dwayne, they're all my damage. That's who I'm counting on. Those guys hit like trucks, and they kind of take damage like trucks too, uh, which I think is a good thing. Like, I don't know if I've ever heard somebody say they take damage like a truck. Anyway, we're fighting a missile team with Warrior of Light as a tank, so I'm going to think our damage will be higher against Warrior of Light, and I feel like we'll probably just one-shot the missile units. That's my thought going into this anyway. Fred finds the range to barrage onto Dwayne. Dwayne doesn't take a bunch of damage. This Dwayne is stacking a ton of defense. There was the TMR buff from Garvel. So you see, that's how he likes to work with his TMR. He goes, um, first turn, shield. Second turn, TMR. Unlike Elsie, who will use her TMR on the first turn. Now, here comes our first attack from Garvel. Jamming Thrust. 5,600 damage onto Warrior of Light with Jamming Thrust. That's a dead Warrior of Light right there. We love to see that. Now, unfortunately, Dwayne is dead. So, yeah, that's going to be a problem. There's Barrage. Ildira is also dead. Now, she has the TMR. She'll come back to life once. And she'll heal. But can Garvel go clean this up? Like, can Garvel go kill somebody and win us this fight? Let's see. Jamming Thrust. That's a dead Frederica. You can see that he really likes to use Jamming Thrust. And then Ildira will just clean up, um, you know, Fire Missile there with her water damage. So cool. Good fight from Garvel. You can see the potential of Jamming Thrust there. But let's find another fight where he'll use some of his other moves to effect as well. Okay. So for fight two, we've subbed out Ildira and we've subbed in Skull to be our support. Now, Skull functions as a very different type of support. He's a Time Mage. Well, he's actually a Black Mage main job, but Time Mage is really what I love this guy for. So we're going to say, hey, Dwayne, hey, um, Garvel, you two are the real focus of this group. Let's give you haste. Let's give you quicken and see if the two of you can just overpower the enemy team. I really like running squads like this. There's a physical barrier from Garvel, just like always. Skull gonna start channeling some haste, Dwayne gonna buff himself, and the fight's gonna proceed kind of as normal. Now, the thing to remember here is Garvel's gonna do the first two things basically every fight you're gonna see him in today. He's gonna put his shield up, then he's gonna cast Fury Surge. He now has about three more turns of maximum potency. So we need to really capitalize on those three turns and try and kill the entire enemy team. This enemy team is a mixed damage team, um, but they're all physical. That's the thing with Garvel. Focus on fighting physical teams. You don't want him taking magic damage and dying. Here's a physical attack. Uh, Butterfly Sting from Frederica does about 1100 damage. You can live with 1100 damage limit break from the enemy carry. Now, Frederica really trolling us reflexes Garvel's attack there, but he still puts 3000 onto Agrius, so you can live with that. Skull gonna cast haste on himself, just so the whole group has it. He's feeling a little left out, you know what I'm saying? Barrage, Garvel's fine. Boom, detonation blast. Let's replay the damage on that. So hey, real quick, Skull's gonna haste himself again, you know, cause why not? Here comes Barrage, okay. So let's let's compare these two. Here's Frederica barraging. What kind of AoE damage is she gonna do? Okay, she does 1,000 to Garvel and 2,500 to Skull. So 1,000 to our Bruiser, 2,400 to our Mage. What about Garvel? What kind of damage is he going to do? Well, he's going to do 3,300 to their tank and 5,100 to their DPS unit. I'm going to take Garvel in that trade all day. He is, does more damage than Frederica does, uh, well, at least in this comparison. Okay, there's a Magic Infuse on Decane. Cool. Garvel gonna jamming thrust here for about 7,000. And then Skull's like, you know what? You set it up. Let's give you a quicken. We'll have you finish it off. And then Garvel's just gonna use his basic attack, which happens to be a ranged attack, and kill Kane. And there you go. You can really see the power of Garvel in that group. So let's go to the end of the video now. 
let's talk about Garvel, give him some scores, and wrap this video up. Okay, let's put Garvel's scores on the screen and then talk about them line by line and wrap this video up. So damage. Yeah, dude, this guy does a bunch of damage. I'm going to give him a 97 out of 100. Um, it's insane. His damage is nuts. And he wasn't even built like full damage in these groups. And you saw the kind of numbers that he was putting out. Like he made Barrage look like a joke and he was hitting their tank for like three, 4,000 damage. Great damaging unit. AoE ability, I'm going to give him a 90, just like I gave Elsie yesterday, because he kind of just hits in those like cross-shaped AoEs, and um, that's pretty good. Like, you like that his, especially his 100% hit attack, hits in that cross-shaped AoE. Something I didn't really mention, you can run this dude into evade, especially since most evade teams do mostly physical damage, just have this guy go out there and slap him down. It seems kind of obvious. But there wasn't a ton of evade teams to pick on, so I didn't show it off. But he kills evade units with his attacks. Okay, utility. Eh, his score's gonna go down a little here. He can take care of himself with that shield. Um, and his TMR provides him some nice utility. But outside of that, you could run him like Kotodama Wielder for some more magic-based buffs. I don't really like that. I kind of like running him Red Mage for Jamming Thrust. He will use Cura sometimes but the map needs to be a little bit longer he needs to be out of dps range to use kira he will always prefer damage over healing so he has some utility but i'm just going to give him an 80 not terrible but mostly he's a dps unit right okay movement um he's got that 3-1 base however you can have him buff his movement inside of kodadama wielder if you really want to so i'll give him an 80 um, 3-1 is, oh, it's, it's not great for him. However, if you really wanted to run him with a movement buff, you do have that option. Okay, speed, 90. He has good speed, especially for the first five turns of a fight. He has very, very good speed. Um, I'm pretty comfortable giving him a 90 there. Probably could have even gone higher if I wanted to. Durability, I'm going to give him a 90 again. This dude against physical teams just takes damage effectively. I love the ability to put a 50% damage shield on himself, um, that's fantastic. And then overall, I'm going to give him a 92 out of 100. Now, I have a couple things I want to say about him as far as like who to run him with and who to watch out to fight. You want to watch out fighting people with sh barrier breaking abilities, right? Winter Victoria, for example, with her barrier break arrow. Um, so much of his durability comes from that shield that... You just don't want that getting knocked off and then, him, and then him getting knocked over. So watch out for that in particular. I like to have somebody who can at least draw that initial hate away from him so they can chew up the AP of the enemy. I was using Dwayne. You could use Warrior of Light or Agrius or basically any other tank just fine too. Okay, that's what I got for you today, guys. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a like. If you need to buy some Amazon coins, please consider using my Amazon coin affiliate link down in the description. It really helps me out. And yeah, that's all for today. See y'all in the next video.